NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams are back on Earth after an extended nine-month stay aboard the International Space Station. Their return, originally planned after just one week, was delayed due to technical issues with Boeing's Starliner spacecraft, forcing them to adapt to an unexpected long-term mission in space. On Tuesday, their SpaceX capsule splashed down off the Florida coast, marking the end of a mission that tested both their endurance and NASA's contingency planning. Orbiting 254 miles above Earth, the ISS has been a hub of international scientific collaboration for nearly 25 years. Managed primarily by the US and Russia, it provides astronauts with a zero-gravity environment to conduct research while adapting to the extreme conditions of space. Both Wilmore, 62, and Williams, 59, are former Navy test pilots turned NASA astronauts. While in space, they stayed connected with their families through internet calls, Wilmore missing most of his daughter's senior year, while Williams regularly spoke to her husband and mother. However, long-duration space missions come with challenges. NASA scientists monitored their bone and muscle loss, vision changes, and the risks of kidney stones due to fluid shifts in zero gravity. Williams even took over as ISS commander for three months, leading station operations until earlier this month. Surviving for nine months in space meant relying on NASA's carefully planned diet. According to reports, their menu included pizza, roast chicken, shrimp cocktails, and tuna, breakfast cereal with powdered milk, dehydrated soups, stews, and casseroles, rehydrated with station water. Initially, fresh fruits and vegetables were available, but they ran out after three months, leaving astronauts with only packaged or freeze-dried options. NASA ensured they had enough food, with the ISS stocked with 3.8 pounds of food per astronaut per day, plus extra supplies in case of mission delays. All meat and eggs were pre-cooked on Earth, requiring only reheating. The station's 530-gallon water tank also recycles astronauts' urine and sweat into drinking water, making long-term missions sustainable. Despite concerns about weight loss, NASA specialists confirmed it wasn't due to food shortages, but rather the natural effects of space travel on the human body. Now, back on solid ground, Wilmore and Williams will undergo medical evaluations as they readjust to gravity after spending nearly a year in orbit, a mission far longer than they ever expected. Stay tuned for more updates.